<laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to B and J in the kitchen. I said welcome back as if you were on break, but yeah, but you weren't. Hopefully you maybe just You've watched one of our other videos and in now you're here. <laughs> Today we are making a uh, so the recipe that Trifecta has sent us says it is a Thanksgiving recipe. Yeah. You could eat this for Thanksgiving. Yes. So I guess yeah, today we're doing Thanksgiving. But it's not turkey. Chicken. Chicken. <laughs> Chicken. Step one is preheat the oven to 450. We're gonna take our trifecta chicken and we're gonna slice it up and reheat it. We are going to slice the chicken on its bias. That's the way you say it? I think so. I'm by you. Next, we are going to combine all the vegetables into this bowl. I'm gonna chop one cup of cherry tomatoes and Gina is gonna chop up the mushrooms and the broccoli. Uh, now I'm gonna take, this is a half package, so it usually comes in 32 ounces. This is 16 ounces of our trifecta sweet mashed potatoes. Yeah. I'm getting a hot flash right now. Are you having a hot flash? <laughs> I'm gonna add this to the medium saucepan and it's on uh, medium low. And then Brooke's gonna add our chicken, chicken stock. stock. I'm just putting enough just to cover, coat the whole bottom of the bottom of the pan. <laughs> now we're gonna start making our roux, which is a thickening agent for our gravy, for our potatoes. And it's gonna start with softening four tablespoons of unsalted butter. We're gonna put it into a pan on medium low heat, and as it melts, we're gonna slowly incorporate our all-purpose flour. And you don't wanna add all of the flour at once, you're just gonna slowly add it and whisk it together. And Gina's gonna whisk it. So you're gonna whisk for about two to three minutes, and you wanna wait until the mixture becomes a nice, like a Beyonce color. <laughs> now we're gonna add four cups of chicken stock. My mom does this by herself. Yeah, it's but. not a two person job. <laughs> we love to do everything together. So now we're gonna add our fresh herb into the stock, which is three sprigs of thyme and two bay leaves. All right, so now we're gonna take the vegetables that we cut up earlier, and we're gonna just add it to our pan, <laughs> and we're gonna put it into the oven. So just keep an eye on it. The chicken's already fully cooked. We don't want to cook it too much or it'll get really dry. And then we just want those vegetables to get warm, um, a little bit tender, but we want them to keep their integrity and be crunchy and not be super soft or soggy. Right, Gina? Yeah, we don't like soggy veggies. We don't like soggy veggies. No soggy veggies. So now we are going to make a hot honey sauce. This is totally optional. Um, it's something you can replace your gravy on your sweet potatoes or have it in addition to. I have four tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna go put that in the pan and get it melted while Brooke starts chopping these peppers. So I'm gonna take the seeds out of these Fresno chilies. All right, so I'm gonna add the two Fresno peppers and then we're going to be adding a quarter cup of honey. I let it get just to where it was simmering a little bit and then turned it down. And now we're gonna add our apple cider vinegar. And then we just remove it from heat and let or, it sit. Yeah, and let it sit. So our chicken is done, veggies are done, potatoes, gravy, butter sauce, which is also <laughs> hot sauce. Hot sauce made it's with really mostly butter, butter and, and sugar. So it's gonna be delicious. <laughs> now we're just gonna plate. Each serving is gonna be one chicken breast. So about four ounces of chicken. We're gonna do four ounces of sweet potato mash, and then we'll split the veggies between all four as well. You can buy pecans or a nut of your choice <laughs> at the store, and some chopped chives. It's time to tame it. It's time to tame it. It's time to taste test. But because we've made this new sauce we've never had, I just want to try that first. Okay. It's pretty good. Oh. I'm gonna go mushroom, <laughs> broccoli, whoa! Yep, and tomato. You're going gonna... for the big bite. Oh my god, <laughs> yours! <laughs> oh my 
god. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. And. <gasps> It's really good. And oh. this sauce, this butter sauce, holy crap. That's your perfect bite? Mm -hmm. One tomato? Mmm. Isn't that good? Oh yeah. Good job, guys. I'm interested in seeing yeah, what thanks. your perfect bite is. It's my perfect bite. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it is. You're, you're all entitled to your own perfect bite. <laughs> Critiquing his perfect bite. So, it's, it's not turkey, it's no. chicken, but uh, I, I was super surprised by actually how it turned out. Yeah, it's it's really, really good. Yeah. And I think that the honey sauce, the spicy honey sauce is a great addition just to have for a little bit extra kick. Thank you for watching another and, episode of B&J. Yeah, and happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. Put my fingers through my hair and then do the food. My hair's clean. Possibly. <laughs> really Possibly. Really long. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a dove. I don't know what that is. Remember okay. that one time we made twice sweet potatoes and left them in your oven? Oh my God. Do you remember that? I turned my oven on two weeks later and it smelled like 